Hi there, welcome to Sir Matego channel. Today, I am going to discuss how to solve the unknown parts of these four triangles. Let us solve x in the first triangle. The given parts are 6, 10, and 20 degrees. Before we can solve x, we need to find the second angle that is opposite to 10, and we call it y. Now, we use law of sines to find y. We have 6 over sine 20 degrees is equal to 10 over sine y. By cross multiplying, we have 6 sine y is equal to 10 sine 20 degrees. Sine 20 degrees is 0 0.342 in scientific calculator. Divide both sides of the equation by 6, and we have this equation. Sine y is equal to 10 times 0 0.342 divided by 6. And sine y is equal to 0 0.57. y is equal to inverse sine 0 0.57. y is approximately 34.8 degrees. This is our second angle. Now let's find the third angle using the angle sum theorem for triangles. We know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Let us name the third angle as angle Z. We have 20 degrees plus 34.8 degrees plus Z is equal to 180 degrees. 20 degrees plus 34.8 degrees is 54.8 degrees plus Z equals 180 degrees. And finally, Z is equal to 125.2 degrees. Again, this is our third angle. We can now find the value of x by using the law of sines. We have 6 over sine 20 degrees is equal to x over sine 125.2 degrees. By cross multiplying, we have x sine 20 degrees is equal to 6 sine 125.2 degrees. Sine 20 degrees is 0 0.342 and sine 125.2 degrees is 0 0.817. Simplifying, we have x is equal to 4.9 divided by 0 0.342, and x is finally equal to 14.3. We have solved x. Let's solve x in the second triangle. This triangle is an isosceles triangle. The two sides are congruent, thus the base angles are also congruent. So if one base angle is 75 degrees, the other base angle is also 75 degrees. The third angle is now 30 degrees by the angle sum theorem. So we can find x using law of sines. We have x over sine 75 degrees is equal to 6 over sine 30 degrees. By cross multiplying, we have x sine 30 degrees is equal to 6 sine 75 degrees. Sine 30 degrees is 0 0.5 and sine 75 degrees is 0 0.9659. 6 times 0 0.9659 is 5.8. Divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.5. We have x is equal to 5.8 over 0 0.5. Finally, x is equal to 11.6. We have solved x. Let us solve x in the third triangle. This triangle is a right triangle. X is the unknown angle. 
we can apply the sine ratio. We have sine x is equal to 8 over 10. Sine x is equal to 0 0.8. x is equal to inverse sine 0 0.8. And finally, x is approximately 53.1 degrees. Now let us solve x in the fourth triangle. We see that the triangle is oblique and the given parts are the three sides. So we can use law of cosines for this. We have 16 squared is equal to 6 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 6 times 12 cosine x. 16 squared is 256. 6 squared is 36, 12 squared is 144, 2 times 6 times 12 is 144, bring down cosine x. Bring down 256, 36 plus 144 is 180, bring down negative 144 and cosine x. Add both sides by negative 180, so we have 76 is equal to negative 144 cosine x. Divide both sides by negative 144. We have 76 over negative 144 is equal to cosine x. That is negative 0 0.528. And x is equal to 121.9 degrees. We solved x in this triangle. We just learned how to solve the unknown parts of different triangles. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.